What's going on there guys? We back with another one and Clay Thompson and Steph Curry are not feeling Charles Barkley's comments about Clay Thompson slowing down. Now we can all see that Clay isn't shooting at the same uh, efficiency level he was shooting at a few years ago prior to those injuries. And we can also see that defensively, you know, while still decent, he's not the same lockdown um, perimeter defender he once was. And that's to be expected with age and everything. But the Warriors backcourt isn't taken too kindly to what Barkley said. Um, so check out what they had to say. But, uh, you know, someone like Charles Barkley with the platform he has says you're not the same player prior to the injuries you have. It's like, no duh, man. Consecutive years, I, like, tore my ACL on my Achilles in consecutive years and still help a team win a championship. I mean, it hurt hearing that because it's like, man, I put in so much freaking effort to get back to this point. Like, it's hard to even put into words what I had to do to be the player I am today. And it's like, Played 55, 57 games in three years. Like, give me some freaking time to get that back and just hear someone say, oh, he's not the same prior to the, as he was prior to the injuries. Like, duh. Like, who goes through something like that and comes back? I, I don't know. It just hurt my heart hearing that. But you know what? I'm going to internalize it, and it's going to be fuel for me to be even better. And... I think I'm, I'm very proud of what we accomplished last year, and I feel like I was a huge part of it, you know? So I'm not gonna let, holy, let these injuries be a crush for me. I'm just gonna keep going, and I'm gonna have a great year. I, I bet on that. Thank you. The comments are, you know, part of our success, right? You're always gonna be in the, in the spotlight and people care about how you're playing and care to comment positively or negatively. They know that'll move the needle. And when you say certain names, people are gonna pay attention. But uh, it's interesting just because you, you know, certain guys kind of forget what their careers look like when they're from the back end. So you can kind of cast and throw those stones. But, you know, Clay's still in here. Like you said, helping us win a championship um, after two, you know, hellish years he had. And I think now it's balancing for him just the expectation of what he was before the injuries, what he can get back to, all the while maintaining you know, his impact on winning. And I'm sure he's you know comparing to you know, the stat lines and you know percentages and all that. But I think I heard Coach talk about it earlier. He's gone through this you know even before you know the injuries where slow starts don't really hold him down. It'll kill his confidence. Um, when you come off a championship, you have such a, a hunger and desire to get back, you know, to what he what he wants to be personally, and he's gonna get there. It's just a matter of you know stick, sticking with the program, the time that he puts in, his competitive fire that comes out, you know, every single night, and you know he's gonna make shots. We're not worried about that. It's just a uh, you know it's a long season. So I actually watched the episode that those guys were talking about and I couldn't remember anything egregious that Charles Barkley said. I mean, to my recollection, he said that Clay had two surgeries and he wasn't the same, you know, because of that. And he said Father Time was creeping up and he said he likes Clay. And basically it wasn't his fault that he's not the same, but he's just not the same, which I think he did it in a respectful way. So I had to go back and make sure I wasn't tripping. So I pulled up the Barkley clip and this is what he said. As much as I love Clay, he's slipping. Uh, same thing with Draymond. They're not the same. In the finals, you could see they're not the same guys they was two or three years ago. So when I watched the Warriors play, I says, oh man, Father Time is knocking on the door on a couple of those guys. They, they, these guys don't won four championships. That's like playing two or three extra seasons. They, and they're past 30. You factor in Clay, who's had two major, major surgeries. I think you saw tonight, he's like, this young boy is kicking my ass. Ain't nothing I can do about it. There was a time when Clay Thompson was the best two-way guard in the NBA. And he's not the same guy. And that's because of injuries. Now, can, is he done? No, I don't think he's done. I think he's slowing down and is catching up with That's why he's frustrated. I think the same thing with Draymond. I think he's slowing down. You saw in the finals, like, 
Because his game is really dictated on energy. And once you get past 30, you start losing, especially if you're playing deep in the playoffs every year. That's why I said Steph got a lot more work to do now. Them young guys going to really have to step up. Or this team is not going to win the championship if those young guys don't start carrying the team. So as I listen to that again, I still don't feel like Chuck really said anything wrong. That's what happens when teams get older. He was right about Draymond. He's right about Clay. I mean, the younger guys have to take that next step to help. You know, those older guys can still be special when needed, but they can't carry a whole 82-game season with the same load and then carry all the way through the playoffs the same way. You know, they have to be able to get rest because like Chuck said, they um winning championships, that's like playing two or three extra seasons at this point in their career as far as they go into the postseason every year. You know what I'm saying? They, they've been getting to the finals almost every single year. And that's some wear and tear. So he he said he don't even believe Clay is done. He said he feels like Clay, um, you know, is slowing down a little bit. And I think that's fair. I mean, you have two injuries. I don't think Chuck meant it in a bad way. He just meant that. Well, if I could speak for him, you know, I just feel like. So he's pretty much saying like Kaminga. Wiseman, all those guys have to step up and reach that next level because if they don't, then the Warriors are going to be in trouble. That goes into helping the older guys stay healthy longer too when the younger guys step up. So it's nothing wrong with younger guys stepping up, helping out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if Clay might have, I mean, I don't know. Clay said he's seen it, but he seemed a little emotional to me. And Steph, you know, taking that shot at Barkley's. Uh, days in Houston or whatever I mean for what reason he didn't say like y'all weren't great players and y'all didn't do a great thing together he wasn't talking down on y'all he was pretty much saying that this is what it is now and this needs to happen for y'all to sustain that level of excellence so I mean you know I don't know man I thought it was a little sensitive on their parts um, cause Clay, I mean, he's been arguing with like Ronnie 2K over his rating and just all kinds of things like that. It seems like just any little thing will make him tick at this point. And that's, um, you know, the commentary, see these guys can praise them all day long and they don't appreciate it. But as soon as you say one bad thing, you know, or one thing that they don't like, they go all in on it. I don't know why it's like that. You know, treat the praise the same way you treat the vitriol. And don't be so sensitive because this is fake vitriol. This is not even um, a real thing to be mad about. It, Chuck is actually giving you props. He's just saying that, you know, you y'all are you slowing down. And like Poole, Wiseman, Kaminga, all those guys, Moody, all of the young guys on the team, they have to have a bigger role for y'all to stay at that level. And I 100% agree with them, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.